welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a three tier skirt that is uh, the skirt is going to look somewhat like this where you have a yoke at the top this is going to be an elasticated skirt and it has a three tiers that is the first tier second tier and the third tier so this is absolutely depends upon you if you want to have more tiers depending upon your height you can add four five and six goes on so today I'm going to make this one to my daughter so I'm going to add only three tiers to this so the total length of the skirt for my daughter is going to be 18 inches from the hip okay so well, you need only three measurement the hip measurement the waist measurement and the full length of the skirt whether you're going to keep the skirt till your knee length or till your ankle length it's absolutely depend upon you depending on that the height of the skirt is going to vary so this line is going to be your uh, hip measurement and this line is going to be your this yoke alone is going to be your waist measurement okay so starting from this point till this point is going to be the length of the skirt so as I told you the length of the skirt is going to be 18 inches so I'm going to keep these tiers to be 6 inches so 6 6 6 so 6 plus 6 is going to be 12 again 6 is going to be 18 inches so the yoke I'm going to give for one and a half inch so all together it's going to come around a 19 to 20 inch length skirt to make this tiered skirt I just did two meters of fabric to be most probably I'll be using one and a half meter of this so to be in safer side I always used to buy a half a meter of straw so that I don't run out of fabric so the another thing you have to keep in mind is the width of the tier skirt so make sure if you're planning to keep the width of the first tier to be 100 inches make sure this is going to be a 200 inches and this is going to be a 300 inches so think that the skirt will be too wide and you don't want that much of flare make the first tier to be 100 inches the second tier is going to be 150 inches and the third tier is going to be 200 inches okay so if you're making another tier keep that for 250 inches so it's up to depend upon you so, so now I'm going to make the first tier to be 100 inches second tier to be uh, 200 might be I just check with the fabric and I will decide how much I have to keep but what my plan right now is uh, I want to keep this to be 100 this to be 200 and the third tier to be 300 inches so once finished cutting off these tiers I'll be gathering the all the three tiers and I'll be joining that together with the yoke okay so uh, let's get started so I'm just taking the 40 inches and I'm going to fold the fabric in half just took 40 inches and I have folded the fabric in half so this is going to be 40 and this is going to be 40 so as I told the one tier is going to be 6 inches and I'm going to add half an inch for seam allowance for both the sides so that's going to come around 7 inches so I'm going to mark the 7 inches and I'm going to just draw a line like this. So just draw a line for the 6 inch. I'm going to cut the first tier out so this side is going to be 40 inches and this side is going to be 40 inches I just fold it in half so total is going to be 80 inches so the first tier is going to be 80 inches okay. so now you can see I just made my uh, first tier ready so keeping this as a base I'm going to make another two tiers so uh, all you have to do is just fold the fabric in half so just I'm going to give a mark same like that for 7 inches okay. 
So I'm going to cut the second tier of the skirt. The total length of the second tier is going to be 160 inches. So I'm just placing the second tier on top of this and I'm going to cut one more for this. So that totally it is going to be uh, 160 inches. So I'm just placing it like this and I'm cutting this out. To make that 160 inches all you have to do is you're going to join both the tiers like this so you're going to get a very wide uh, second tier so now I'm going to make the third tier if you want you can add the double amount of tier or else if you want you can add a, just a 50 inch extra to the next tier so my last tier is going to measure 320 inches that is going to be the double of that um, 160 inches so I'm going to cut a three out of this okay. this three set of fabric is going to go for my third tier and this two set of fabric is going to go for my second tier and the single is going to go for my first tier to the yoke I'm going to use this a lovely pretty a dark magenta you can say so I'm going to use this fabric to be a yoke fabric. So I'm going to just join all the pieces together and I'm going to gather all the tiers like this with a gathering foot or by a long stretch in my machine. So continue watching this. I'll be showing you how to join all the pieces together to make a three layer tier skirt. So I already did the gathering for the down part of the skirt so this is going to be the gathering what I did I just made a small small piece and I top stretched this and it came out really well so now I'm going to make the center tier so now I'll show you how to gather the center tier of your skirt so what I did is I just left a one inch of fabric without gathering and then I have started by just doing a simple, very simple gathering like this. Just place your thumb finger in the fabric and you're going to just make the very small, small pleats like this. And hold it firm and you're going to sew on top. Okay. Going to make like this and hold it firm over this point and I'm going to sew that. So you can see, you got a very beautiful gathering over here. Okay. Like this, you are going to just make a small, small piece. So in my Penta Kurta making video, I showed you a different kind of gathering that is just pulling one thread, you can gather the fabric. Uh, if you want you can try that method also you can see how beautifully I have just pleated the center tier it's really fun and easy to make the small pleats hopefully you won't find any difficult in doing this So once you're done with both the tiers, all you have to do is this is going to be the third tier and this is going to be the second tier. So now I'm going to place the gathering with the plain second tier side and I'm going to sew that together. Make sure the pretty side matches together. See? You're going to sew little by little placing the gathering flat and firm like this and you're going to place the plain fabric on top that's going to be the second tier down part and you're going to sew that together like this okay. 
So little by little they are going to sew that together. So any adjustment to the fabric you can make if you find that the second tier fabric is too long and what you can do is you can just take one or two stitches out of the third tier and you can adjust with the second tier also okay so place it firm and just like that place the second tier on top of the third tier and you're going to sew that together so this how it's going to look once you add the second tier and the third tier together and I have already made a video on this elasticated yoke skirt so if you really want to learn how to make this elasticated yoke please do check with the description box I have uploaded the link so uh, you can learn how to attach the yoke with the skirt skirt is going to look very very pretty in a chiffon fabric and also in georgette fabric if you're thinking to make something like this and I would recommend you to go ahead with the chiffon and the uh, georgette fabric where you have to just give a lining underneath it can be a satin fabric so that it will have a very very nice flow in cotton fabric the flow is restricted you can see I just grab a hold in the fabric and it just stays in a place because she is small child I made the skirt in a cotton fabric so that it won't irritate her if you are making these skirts to your uh, daughters below 10 years old you can try in a cotton fabric so that it won't irritate them if you are making to yourself please go ahead with a nice flowy fabric it's all will just makes the skirt looks really great so this is called as a gypsy skirt so uh, I want everyone to give a try or this I don't want you people to miss any of my future video so please do click on the subscriber links that you see on the screen right now and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of my videos and if you want more videos like this kids version please do click on the thumbs up button below that's it for now and see you next time with a different kind of style take care bye bye